hi today we are going to see how to install and configure apache spark for that let's go to web browser here we will go to google.com we will search for apache spark if we know the apache sparks website we can directly go there as soon as we search for apache spark the first thing that comes in is spark.apache.org we'll go here now here we have download options out of this we will click on downloads once we click on downloads we see that there are various options that are available so the various releases of apache spark are available here out of this we will select the latest one then from here we will choose the pre-built for apache hadoop 2.7 and later and download type is direct download all you have to do is click on this particular link as soon as we do this a new download will begin download will continue for one minute Let's wait for this one. Meanwhile, let's open the terminal. Here, we are going to copy the current download that is happening. Apache Spark 2.2.0 bin Hadoop 2.7 tgz and we will copy this here my current directory which is a soft named as software directory all i have to do is enter this here i will see spark that is downloaded so i have here spark 1.5 already present just now we downloaded this spark 2.2.0 bin hadoop 2.7.tgz tgz stands for tar.gz now all we have to do is untar this there are two ways to do it one by using command line option or another is through the ui we will try ui here let's go to the home here search for softwares here you go to this particular the spark one yeah this one right click and extract here as soon as you do that you should see a directory which is present named as spark 2.2. bin hadoop 2.7 let's see ls spark star here we see these two directories so this is the older one this is the latest one so let's get into this directory cd the directory name yeah here we have the untard distribution of spark what things we have we have bin we have conf we have data, examples, jars, license, licenses, notice, python, r, readme.md, release, has been and yarn. Now, all we have to do is change certain configurations. For that, we have to go to conf, cd, conf. Into conf, we see, into conf, we have something like this yeah here we have docker dot properties fair scheduler dot xml log 4j matrix dot properties slave dot template spark dot default conf spark env dot sh dot template so let's create spark env dot template let's copy this spark env dot sh template to spark env dot sh and let's copy 
slaves dot template to slaves as we see into spark hyphen env dot sh these all are the options that we can provide so this is nothing but a source file which will be sourced in the beginning so to run a single node spark cluster we don't need to provide anything here so we can just say that we can just quit and come out of this so we have various options that are present here and we can check whenever we want to configure spark for some other things like master ports slave ports the worker ports then the demands and all those things since we are not going to do anything here we will just keep it as is here we will also check the slave file in the slaves file since we are going to configure a one master and one worker node on the same machine since this is single node cluster we will have to maintain an entry called as localhost by default this should be present in your slaves.sh i'm not going to do anything here also now i'm going to come out of this as we know out of this directory is as bin is a start and stop bin directory where we can start and stop the services and bin is the binary distribution where we have the commands of the spark that we can run now before that we will have to source the path of the spark for that let's copy this the path will be added to slash slash rc let's get, go to the end here i already had a spark home which was exported to my older version of spark now i am going to give it the latest one after that so this is related to spark spark related yeah so these are the two configurations that we have to do into dot bash rc which is present for every user in the unix so i am going to add spark home here and i am going to specify spark home bin slash dollar path so i am going to provide this spark home into my path i have to save and quit from here i have to source in the latest bash rc or i can even log out and log in again so i close my terminal and now again i open the terminal as we open the terminal back the spark home should be set let's try to go to spark home yeah it is set here we have various options we will go to sb out of this as been in this as been we have these all start and stop services let's before that we will check whether any other service of spark is running on the same machine or not no jps is the command that we can use to check the running java processes in the background since there is nothing we will see we see that there is nothing running in the current machine now here we are going to start spark for that we have to just say dot slash start a double l all dot sh as soon as we enter here it says that starting master so master is started and after that starting worker so worker is started so it is logging to this particular place for worker and for master it is logging to this particular file now we will come out of this and to check whether spark is started or not we will again have to just type jps yes here we see that master and worker now we are going to check whether how to start the spark shell all we have to say is spark shell and enter as soon as you do that 
spark should start. Yes. Some warnings might come. Your hostname Learntrix results to loopback address. Using this instead, which is again the WLL, that is fine. It is saying set spark local IP if you need to bind another addresses. No. I am fine with the current address. Something else. For the first time to start the Spark shell, it takes couple of seconds. Or sometimes it takes more time. Yeah. Perfect. So it is saying Spark context is available as C and Spark session is available as Spark. And welcome to Spark. Blah blah using Scala version this one Java 1.8 and everything so as we see this is the prompt for spark or the shell for the spark to write the code thank you very much